Welcome to Make It Happen Monday, your weekly dose from the Healthy Living School. As always, I want to first remind you to enjoy. Enjoy is our Make It Happen Monday mantra, as well as our go-to acronym. E, eat real food in 12 hours or less daily and nurture your microbiome. Join me in moving daily. O, optimize your breathing. And Y, yes to restorative sleep. So today, you probably can tell that I'm in a different setting, and I am. I'm going to do a little show and tell video, uh, and I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I want you to know that food that is fresher, right, food that you grow is fresher, it is tastier, it is healthier, and anyone can grow at least herbs and lettuce in a pot no matter where you live. Uh, so my daughter Lucy, who really is the uh, family resident true farmer and who is largely responsible for this amazing garden behind me, is going to do a little show and tell about what we have growing in our garden at the moment. So Lucy. Hi everybody, I'm Lucy, the youngest of us four, and this is my uh, family's vegetable garden. It's both um, a hobby and something I feel like I have to do purely because it creates a lot of meaning for me. Um, so it is now mid, it's late April, so we're in late spring. So we have cool season crops and warm season crops coming in. Um, we have potatoes right here. You can see that our potatoes are um, in bloom. So in one month, the plants will die to the ground and we'll pull out the fresh roots. We might have upwards of like 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds in this patch. We'll see. Um, and what type are growing in there? These are like a very golden yellow baby potato um, called Corolla. So a cool thing about growing your own food is you can use varieties that you would never find in the grocery store. Um, so you can grow more heirloom, unique, um, highly flavorful, likely more nutritious since they're more flavorful varieties. Um, so that's a bonus. Here we have our lettuce bed. I like to intercrop, so you'll see. Dr. Ann is clapping. You'll see spinach here. This is a spinach that we like to saute. We have tons of romaine. Um, we are all eating the world's largest salads every day right now. Um, we have Swiss chard, and we have cilantro. This here is cilantro. Cilantro is a great herb. If you don't have a yard, you can grow it in a pot. Um, and it's so much fresher and tastier. Um, collard greens, that's probably another thing to clap for. Um, of course, dark leafy green. And then here we have more lettuce, we have beets there that look like Swiss chard. And then moving that way where it's more open, you'll see our summer plants starting to come in. There's onions, there's beet seedlings, um, these are like wild herbs, pardon me. Um, yeah, banana peppers, sweet peppers, tomatoes, basil. Okra seeds just got planted in here, so we're waiting on them to pop up. Dr. Rand's favorite vegetable is okra roasted. Yeah, so we leave this all to okra, so we'll have a huge patch here. In the boxes, we have an assortment of things. Um, beans. Here, starting to sprout up. These are radishes. In fact, we actually can probably harvest one. We'll harvest one for the show. Woo! <laughs> um, it's like a daikon. It's a icicle, a white icicle radish. These ones are really mild and flavorful. Wow. Highly recommend. Um, but what we'll put in here, I'll probably put more peppers in here because peppers are one of those things that. Um, particularly if they're banana peppers, we will pickle them and have pickled banana peppers throughout the whole year is the goal. Wait, wait I'm gonna say, so, and Lucy's, Lucy's as gifted, if not more gifted, sorry Liz, than Liz in the kitchen. <laughs> and Lucy will, I'm hoping in the future, do some how to prepare uh, foods or meals with us. Yeah, so. we'll, do a, we'll do a little cooking show. I look forward to it. I would say if you've never grown anything in your life and you only have a pot, I would start with herbs, basil, cilantro, dill. 
Um, a tomato plant in a pot is a great idea too. Big pot, you know, just because a plant's this big doesn't mean it needs a small pot. You want to have an 18 inch terracotta. Now if you have a yard where you can put in a raised bed, green beans and radishes are, are a good place to start. There's tons of resources to, to learn from online or in books. You can always reach out to me. That said, my next e-course is going to be focusing on getting your kitchen in order and becoming a confident, healthy cook. This course is for those of you who want me to come into your kitchen for a total makeover. In this course, I will show you how to stock your cabinets, pantry and fridge, exactly like mine. In part one, yours truly will share food group by food group, exactly what foods to have in your kitchen, as well as those to keep out. In parts two, three, and four, which focus on helping you become an efficient and confident healthy cook, my daughter Liz will be joining me. Hi everyone, as my mom said, I am Dr. Ann's oldest daughter, Liz. I'm a writer, an educator, a mother of a nine month old, and a home cook. In parts two, three, and four, with Liz taking the lead, we will cover essential kitchen tools, gadgets to up your culinary game, stocking your spice cabinet, and must have flavor boosting items. When my mom asked me to do this course, I think the reason I wanted to do it is because I know how transformative cooking can be, not only for individuals, but for their entire families, as a way to boost your health, increase your health, but also as an expression of creativity and as something that can be incredibly pleasurable. Why did I create this course? Because your home food environment has a greater impact on how you eat than anything else.